A search for a missing a plant worker in Hood County. That search has now been suspended while crews clean up the chemicals leaching from Trichem Industries. Dylan Mitchell has not been seen since yesterday's explosion and within the last half hour we have heard from his brother. He's the best guy in the world. <laughs> he is, you know, my best friend. I know people always say that, you know, that person will, you know, do anything for anyone and that's him. Newsday's Lauren Zakalik live tonight in Crescent. That's about 40 minutes south and west of Fort Worth. She joins us now live. So you're not very far from the scene, right, Lauren? No, we're very close to the scene, in fact. And, and John, they are investigating what started this fire. Preliminary reports are that it was likely accidental, but investigators are looking into all possibilities. At the same time, they are trying to find Dylan Mitchell. Friday afternoon, crews began clearing away burned and mangled metal. So the search could continue for an employee missing since this Crescent chemical plant exploded Thursday morning. 27-year-old Dylan Mitchell is the only employee unaccounted for. There's nothing that I would rather have than to be able to bring some closure to this family. Crescent Fire Chief Ron Becker was the first emergency responder on scene Thursday minutes after the Trichem Industries chemical plant exploded into flames. It blew out the back door and part of the roof. Maybe we saw four or five people run out. Jesse Bailey, who works next door, took these videos right after the fire started. From then on, it just started smoking real bad, and then it caught fire, and then it started poom, 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 just blowing up. You could hear, like, drums going off in there. State documents show some of the chemicals stored here can cause skin corrosion and serious eye damage and have, quote, acute toxicity listed as one of the health hazards. But investigators have insisted there is no threat to the public right now as far as air quality goes. The wind helped, says the Hood County Fire Marshal. Because this was a chemical facility that did blending of different chemicals to make uh, specific products. I'm not sure exactly what chemicals they might might have been blending at this time. With liquid chemicals on the ground and fire still burning inside the plant Friday, firefighters faced additional challenges as they tried to find Dylan Mitchell. He's been in my heart since he's been about seven years old. Friends rallying around the Mitchell family, hoping they have answers soon. We still have not heard from Trichem Industries. We reached out to them via phone yesterday and email today. We have not heard back. Crews are going to be out here at Trichem for the foreseeable future, but Highway 171 will remain open during that investigation. We're live in Crescent, Lawrence Akalik, Channel 8 News. All right, Lauren. The